I don't think anyone would argue with me that audio is a very important part of making videos, but when you're looking for a microphone for your camera, there are so many options out there, even within the same brand. So today we're gonna to be doing a sound test between four different Rode video microphones to see which one is the best for your camera as well as your budget. Hey everyone, Camber here showing you how to use your camera to make good videos. And audio is a very important and often overlooked part of the video making process. So we're gonna compare multiple microphones today so you can see which one you think you like best and what would work for you. So we're gonna be looking at the Rode Video Micro as well as the Rode VideoMic Go, followed by the Rode VideoMic Pro, a lot of confusing names there, and finally the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. These are all in ascending price order, so assuming the quality should be getting better among each one of them, but we'll see as we go through. We're gonna start off with some comparison tests so you can just see how they sound in various environments, and then at the end I'll go over a few things to think about that I've noticed based on my experience with these microphones. So first up we have the Rode Video Micro. As you can see, I'm close to the camera. Most mics, even the camera audio, will sound good when you're this close. So this is the sound of the Rode Video Micro on the A7C. Now we have the Rode Video Mic Go standing right in front of the camera. Once again, audio should be sounding better. Like always, Rode Video Mic Go. Next up is the Rode Video Mic Pro now on the A7C. We're close to the camera again. Should be really good sounding audio. This is a great microphone, Rode Video Mic Pro. And now we have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on top of the A7C. Once again, we're about a foot and a half away Away from the camera should be really good sounding audio this is the top end microphone out of the four Rode video mic pro plus now as we move back further away from the camera obviously the sounds not going to be as good this is the Rode video micro on the a7c now once again we're at about five feet away with the Rode video mic go on the a7c sound should hopefully still be pretty good from this distance it's a shotgun mic so it's directional now we're back at about five feet on the rode video mic pro on top of the a7c hopefully the audio should still be usable here sounding not too bad now we're at about the five foot spot again on the rode video mic pro plus on top of the a7c audio quality should still be usable here not bad at all and then finally this is all the way across the kitchen a lot more echo bouncing around in here on the rode video micro on the a7c A7C. As all microphones go, the further away you are, the worse it sounds. And now once again, we are far away from the camera on the Rode Video Mic Go with the A7C. This is about 12 feet away in a large kitchen across the room into the nook. More echo here, but hopefully some of it's being cut out. We'll see on the playback. You can let me know what you think. And once again, we are furthest away from the camera now, Rode Video Mic Pro on the A7C. This is about 12 feet away in a very large kitchen with more echo bouncing back towards the camera and the microphone. And finally, we are the furthest away once again on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on top of the A7C across the room in a large kitchen in the nook with the more echo bouncing around. So here we are now in the car with the Rode Video Micro on top of the A7C. We're seeing how this sounds in an enclosed space. I'm in a car, people seem to be recording a lot in cars now, so we're gonna see how the Rode Video Micro sounds. So now we're listening to the Rode Video Mic Go on top of the A7C. I'm inside of my car now, it seems to be something people do a lot when they're recording. So we're seeing how it sounds here in an enclosed space with no echo. Hopefully this one sounds good as well. This is the Rode Video Mic Go. And now we're listening to the Rode Video mic pro on top of the a7c in a car in an enclosed space no echo going on to see the difference between all these mics see which one is more crisp see which one knocks out all the rest of the sound hopefully this sounds good so now we're in the car in an enclosed space just to see how the mic sounds here this is the rode video mic pro plus on top of the a7c once again in a car in an enclosed space no echo just to see the difference between all these microphones here let me know what you think of it and now we're on to the final comparison test with the rode video micro first on the a7c outside with birds and cars and other environmental 
uh, sounds. And now we're listening to the Rode VideoMic Go on top of the A7C outside with more environmental ambient sounds, birds, cars, all that with the Rode VideoMic Go. So now we have the Rode VideoMic Pro on top of the A7C outside at a couple feet away, listening with environmental sounds, birds, cars, all that good stuff. Rode VideoMic Pro. And finally, we have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on the A7C sitting outside with environmental noises, wind, birds, cars, all that good stuff. The Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now we're about seven feet away listening to the Rode VideoMic on the A7C outside, different sounds all involved Rode Video Micro. And now further away, about seven feet with the Rode Video Mic Go, listening with outside ambient noises, environmental sounds with the Rode Video Mic Go. Back at about seven feet now with the Rode Video Mic Pro on the A7C, listening outside with environmental sounds on the Rode Video Mic Pro. And now back at about seven feet, listening to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on the A7C, outside with all kinds of other noises around us so we're not so isolated. Finally, about 15 feet away for the Rode Video Micro on the A7C, outside, environmental sounds, Rode Video Micro. And about 15 feet again now with the Rode Video Mic Go on top of the A7C, listening, outside, Rode Video Mic Go. And finally, far away, Rode Video Mic Pro, about 15 feet away, listening on the A7C, outside with wind and other environmental sounds, Rode Video Mic Pro. And finally, about 15 feet away, listening to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus outside on the A7C with lots of other ambient noises. Hopefully you can see a difference here, Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So I hope that was helpful for you, being able to hear all those mics back to back so that you can compare the sounds and there was no post-processing done to any of those clips aside from just making all the levels even so that we'd have an even sound going throughout the whole video. But as far as which one should you pick, here's some things to think about. With the Rode Video Micro, this thing is nice because it's small and having smaller gear is always good, especially for traveling. The less stuff and the smaller it is, the better. But a lot of times, it wasn't quite as good. Obviously, this one is only $59. In the Rode Video Mic Go, I didn't hear personally a huge difference between these, but one thing I do like about these over the others is that you do not have to charge these. These are charged from your camera, so all you have to do is stick them on the mic or on the camera, plug them in, and you're good to go. But when you go from that to the Rode Video Mic Pro, we have a power switch right there with a low cut filter on it. And then we have uh, DB settings minus 10 and plus 20. So you have some options there. But with this microphone, you do have to put batteries into it. It takes nine volt batteries there in the front. So you have to keep batteries with you, battery chargers, all those kind of things. It lasts a long time, but having to charge the battery can be a pain. And the other thing I don't like about that is there have been multiple times where I have forgotten to turn the mic on. And when you plug it into the camera and you record without the mic on, it senses an input, so it thinks it's getting a recording from the microphone, but what happens is it ends up recording nothing because the microphone's not on. It doesn't record anything from the camera speaker, so you don't have anything at all to work with if you forget to flip that switch. So I like this, I use these for years, but that is the one downfall you need to make it part of a habit to always turn this thing on when you're gonna record. But then you also have to remember to turn it off because if you don't, then the battery dies, you go to use it next time. And that's not good. Finally, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is an upgrade off the VideoMic Pro. The nice thing about this one is when you plug it into the camera, it senses that it's been plugged in and it automatically turns on. So they fixed that problem with this mic, which is something I really like. And also you have to charge this, but it has micro USB port, charging port on the side. So you just plug it in with that. You don't have to carry extra batteries and chargers, just a cord to be able to charge it. And then, we have the same thing, different dB levels and different noise cut filters, combinations of those you can use. So really good mic. Downside is it is a lot bigger for packing. Uh, it's not very discreet when you're using it. So people obviously know you're using it for video. I've been places and like, uh, do you have a permit to record here? And I'm like, no, well, you can't do professional recording. So I just say, well, I'm not a professional. I'm just sightseeing type of thing, but stuff to keep in mind. They're all good microphones, obviously. They will all help you and improve your sound quality. They all have more expensive prices, obviously, and more expensive 
expensive and uh, more improved qualities. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what you think of the different mics. Post any comments, questions you have down below. I'll help you out in any way I can. This was a fun experiment to see how much a different each of those make because I know when I'm looking online at all these microphones, I just see the prices and I assume the quality is better, but until you actually get them and can compare them, you realize, oh, well, these might not be quite as different as you think. So let me know what you're using right now, or if you think it's better than any of those, I'd be interested to see other mics to try out. I've used lots of Rode mics and have always liked them. So with that, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, got lots of other videos, and I will see you in the next one.